this is Scott, and this is the Hyper Report. Here are the quotes for various items. First, how Obama contained ISIS. The Islamic terror attacks in Paris only demonstrates what happens when armed so-called migrants with AK-47s are allowed to enter a country. Europe has claimed they would set out the next world war. However, ironically, it may once again start on their soil. On the other side of the pond, Obama will likely never utter the words Islamic terrorist because of his close relations to the Muslim Brotherhood terrorist organization. Next, 100 yuan note. As the IMF is poised to recommend the yuan be included in the IMF fund special drawing rights reserve currency basket, the new Chinese yuan was introduced by the People's Bank of China. One of the main differences is that the printed 100 has gone from red to gold. Now gee, would China buy more gold annually than the world produces and being the number one gold producer, why would they do a silly thing like that? Next, retirement insolvency. With Social Security desperately unfunded and federal retirement trusts and many private pension funds similarly approaching insolvency, what is the solution? Obama's MyRA savings plan, which would be just as financially irresponsible as Obama wreck is? Is it any wonder at 400,000 gold eagles sold in one quarter that Americans are buying tons of gold? Next, illegal stingray. Federal officials deceived courts about the nature of the stingray technology in order to get the authority to use it. Now, the ACLU has obtained documents after a two-year legal battle showing that the IRS and other federal agencies have been using stingray technology to record mobile phone calls and hijacking selected phones to use as listening bugs. Next, expanding probe. Hillary has another problem to deal with in the ongoing email scandal. Not being up front and causing federal agents to expend additional resources and time is punishable up to five years in prison. Just ask Martha Stewart. So, if the Department of Injustice did its job, Hillary should be indicted for wiping the email server before turning it over to the FBI. Next, autism rate doubles. A report from the criminal CDC states that autism affects 1 in 45 children in the U.S., almost twice the rate from a few years ago. Gee, the CDC's vaccination campaign must really be working since the vaccinations have been linked to autism. Finally, please prepare now for the escalating economic and social unrest. Good day.